It's the hot spot on this cold night right along the route of tomorrow's Rose Parade. Thousands are camping out on Colorado Boulevard for that up close view. KKLine's Rick Montanez joining us live from Pasadena right along the parade route. And Rick, yep, there they are. The lawn chairs are out and I see the hats are on. Yeah, of course, Jasmine, because uh, it's really cold out here and, of course, windy, too. So we've also got some heaters on, the hats on, the jackets, the scarves, the blankets, everything in preparation for a very cold night. But I've got to say, people are really excited as they get their spots prepared to watch tomorrow morning's Rose Parade. Colorado Boulevard is the spot to be in Pasadena, hours ahead of the 134th Rose Parade. I'm loving it. Haiti Samia convinced her family to camp out last minute, their first time doing this. What did you do to plan? I see there's some food, we've got blankets, jackets. <laughs> to be honest, we just decided that this morning at 10, and I said, okay, anything that we need for camping, because that's what we're going to be doing, and um, chairs and you know, a lot of blankets and umbrellas. Fortunately, no rain falling, but the umbrella is shielding the kids from the cold wind. Braving the cold is part of the decades old tradition of camping out for a viewing spot. Yeah, it is super cold, but I like the environment. I like that I'm not the only one doing it, so we're all in this together. It's definitely colder than what I was expecting, but um, hopefully tomorrow everything will be worthwhile. The parade route is still open, packed with cars as campers get into place. About 70 people are going to be coming, showing up to, to take seats for the parade and whatnot. So. And you have to hold the fort down for the night. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Adam Hicks is a pastor at Temple City Seventh Day Adventist Church. They're preparing ramen and hot chocolate for the congregation. In, in person, this close up, I think that's going to be a, real, like, a much like different experience. So yeah, really looking forward to it. <laughs> In anticipation of big crowds, some businesses are boarded up. Police and deputies are on patrol for the night. The city is allowing heaters and barbecues. And for the first time in two years, no COVID restrictions. Just a night of camping ahead of arguably the biggest New Year's tradition in the country. So now we get up close and personal, so that's really exciting. And tonight, people are going to be up close and personal with their heaters, their blankets, and each other just trying to stay warm. Everyone has to stay here on the sidewalks until 11 o'clock when Colorado Boulevard closes. Then they can move out into the street where that blue honor line is so they can pick their spot for the parade, which starts tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Live in Pasadena, Rick Montanez, KCAL 9 News. Oh.